the Veni Vidi Coxie Kitchen here at the Gingerbread Cottage in Victoria, British Columbia. And this is my kitchen. And we are starting the class in a moment. Thank you. Vanessa, and welcome to my kitchen at the Gingerbread Cottage in Victoria, British Columbia. Today I'm going to show you how to make apricot dumplings. It's a Viennese specialty. So um, here are the ingredients, about half a cup of butter, melted, one egg yolk, one egg, the grated rind of one lemon, and here we have a tub of cottage cheese. Um, I prefer full fat, but this is 2% should be okay, 500 grams. And then I have a bowl with about two cup, cups of flour here for starters, just to make the dough. So I'll show you how this works. We'll put the butter in here. We add the eggs. We add the um, lemon rind, grated lemon. And then we add the cottage cheese. And I'm trying to get it out as good as I can. And then we put the lid on and we will process this until it's smooth. Okay. So when this is done, I take it out and I pour it straight into my flour, just regular flour. And I will come back in a moment once I have it all mixed up. Well, in with the flour. We may not need all the flour. We kind of blend it in. And when this is done, kind of, it gets turned out onto a floured board. And I do apologize. It's me doing it and me filming it, so now you come along with your hands and you knead it into a smooth dough. I will come back in a moment to show you what that looks like. So here we have the dough, nice and smooth. Um, it has a nice consistency, you can see it. We will wrap this in, in, a, in a plastic wrap, stick it in the fridge for half an hour. For the B&B, I usually leave it in the fridge overnight, make my dumplings the next day. So also to prepare the dumplings, you take the pits out the apricot pits. You can make apricot dumplings, plum dumplings with prune plums or you can make strawberry dumplings if you like. Now the apricot dumplings are usually filled with marzipan. This is homemade marzipan and that's what it kind of looks like at the end. Um, so you replace the pit with marzipan. When you take the pit out, do not throw it away. You take a hammer or something crack it open and keep the little almonds from the inside because this is bitter almond. Fantastic for baking. Also has some medicinal purposes but I'm not getting into that. But keep them, uh, the pits from, the, from your apricots in a jar in your kitchen. Wonderful flavoring for Christmas baking. So here we come back. The uh, the apricots, you take a little piece of, of marzipan and you put it in the middle and you press it together. Here is, here are our apricots and I split the dough in two halves just to see how many we get out of it. So I took marzipan and filled it into a little ball of marzipan into the middle, pressed it back together and what we do now, we'll take a 
piece of dough. This is probably a little bit too much. And we'll press it down like this. And you take an apricot and you wrap it around it. And I'm doing this with one hand because I'm kind of trying to film this. But you get the idea. So we're just going to pull this over. Oh, I can't even do it with one hand. Look at me. Here you go. Then you roll it round and round. And here you have the perfect apricot dumpling. And as I said, you can do plums, you can do uh, strawberries. When I do plum dumplings, I usually take a, um, a sugar cube, soak it in rum, and put it in the middle of the plum instead of the pit. So you keep going and do as many as you as you get out of this dough. I think I, my estimation is about eight you get out of one half. So it's about 14 to 16 dumplings out of the amount we have here. Do not make the dough too, too heavy, too thick uh, on top of the, rather pull it over like I'm doing here. Like Here is, here are our apricots and I split the dough in two halves just to see how many we get out of it. So I took marzipan and filled it into a little ball of marzipan into the middle, pressed it back together. And what we do now, we'll take a piece of dough, this is probably a little bit too much, and we'll press it down like this. And you take an apricot and you wrap it around it. And I'm doing this with one hand because I'm kind of trying to film this. But you get the idea. So we're just going to pull this over. Oh, I can't even do it with one hand. Look at me. Here you go. Then you roll it round and round. And here you have the perfect apricot dumpling. And as I said, you can do plums, you can do uh, strawberries. When I do plum dumplings, I usually take a, um, a sugar cube, soak it in rum, and put it in the middle of the plum instead of the pit. So you keep going and do as many as you, as you get out of this dough. I think I, my estimation is about eight you get out of one half. So it's about 14 to 16 dumplings out of the amount we have here. Do not make the dough too, too heavy, too thick uh, on top of the, rather pull it over like I'm doing here. Like. So here we are again. My water is boiling. Let's put a pinch of salt in. boil a little more and here are our dumplings and we will drop them gently in one by one we'll drop the dumplings in so now the rule of thumb here is you boil them in water until they start coming up until they float Sometimes, and you have to really watch out for that, they stick on the bottom a little bit, so you have to go gently underneath and loosen them. Because if they stick on the bottom, they can't float. So as soon as they float, um, you take a cup of ice cold water, you pour it in, turn the heat down, put a lid on, and set your alarm for seven minutes and then you can lift them out and they're done. So, we'll come back. So, here we are again. Uh, they are boiling now, our apricot dumplings. They're floating. So, you add a cup of ice cold water, cool it down, put a lid on it, and turn the heat down to low. 
and then we set our alarm to seven minutes and then they're done so here we go they are all done now seven minutes nicely puffed up and you have to lift them out after seven minutes you can't let them sit in the water because otherwise they will just disintegrate so we'll lift them all out put them on a platter over here see out of what one, one half I got about eight okay here they are wonderful dumplings I'll be back so here we are again we have our mixture of gingerbread crumbs or cake crumbs with butter just make sure the cake crumbs are nicely soaked in butter and you kind of toss your dumplings in this here and just wanted to show you back here we have a caramel sauce which is made with sugar butter and once the sugar browns then we put some orange little lemon juice in there and boil it up stir it up and that's it so that goes on top so here is the finished product we have the two dumplings tossed in the gingerbread spice uh, gingerbread uh, crumbs and the butter and you see some beautiful nasturtiums here also dusted with icing sugar wonderful presentation and we have a drizzle a little bit of that caramel sauce on top usually we put whipped cream and actually accidentally we put some on had to take it off because the customer doesn't like whipped cream so usually you have a nice bowl of whipped cream on top delicious dumplings